Have you ever got the burning desire to make an awesome pirate themed game logo? Probably not, but today I'll show you how to make this epic treasure hunter logo super easily and for free using just Photopea. No expensive software, no crazy skills needed, just a few simple steps and you'll have yourself an awesome looking logo. So grab your map and set sail because we're about to uncover the secrets of making legendary game logos. So let's get started. Once you're at photopea.com, you're gonna wanna create a new project. Click on new project. And for the dimensions, we're going with 1000 by 1000. Once done, click create. The first thing we need to do is get a background. Now there's a few ways you can actually do this. The easiest way is to go up to window, plugins, go to pixels, click install, click the X. And now it should be over here when you click on it you can search up any background you'd like. So I can search up ocean and use any of these. I actually used Google and found this one right here. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna hit control V to paste it. And now I just need to bring it where I want it to be. So right here is good. Next thing we're gonna need is a treasure chest. I'm gonna go with this one right here, right click on it, copy it and hit control V to paste it. It's a little big, so we're gonna need to scale it down. So hit control, alt and T, drag it around until you can see a box. Grab one of the boxes and drag it inward to shrink it. Shrink it down to about here and make sure to center it. So now we're ready for the text. So get your text tool on the left side of your screen, click anywhere on your canvas and type in your text. I'm gonna go with treasure. Now hit control A, go up here and change the font to whatever you want. I'm going to go with Anton. If you wanna know some fonts that I like, go down in the description. I'll leave a link to a video about my top fonts. So once you find the one you want, click on it and click the check mark. Now hit control, alt and T and scale it up. Click that check mark. Now hit control C and control V to paste it, go to your move tool and move it down a little bit. This will be our other text. I'm gonna type in Hunter for this one and click that check mark. I'm gonna move that to the center as well. Now let's start editing our text. I'm gonna show you a super easy way to get text styles. So go up to window, plugins, go to style, and you'll have a ton of options here. I'm gonna go with all styles and click install. So now when you double click on your text, click this drop down arrow, scroll all the way down. I'm gonna use this one right here, style 145. Click okay. Now go to Hunter and change the style for that one as well. I found the one I want. This one is in a different style pack, so you'll have to experiment a little bit and find the one you want. Once you find the one you want, click OK. I'm going to move it down a little bit below my treasure text. Now we are going to combine the two and make them one. So once you do this, you will not be able to go back and edit the text like this. So hold Control, click on both of the text layers, right click on one of them and click Convert to Smart Object. Now this will act as one whole layer that you can adjust freely. So we're gonna rotate this a little bit and put it inside of the treasure chest. So hit Control, Alt, and T. When you hover your mouse outside the box, you'll see it turns into two arrows. Then you can hold left click and drag to rotate it. So we're gonna rotate it and put it about right here. Once you're done, click that check mark. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this part out of the H to make it look like it's sitting inside of the treasure chest. So go down here to add a raster mask, go to your brush tool, Make sure your top box is white and your bottom box is black. You can hit X to alternate through them. But pretty much what this does is black will actually remove the text and white will add. So to adjust your brush, hold Alt and right click. Move your mouse right to make it bigger, left to make it smaller, up to make it softer, down to make it harder. We're gonna go with as soft as possible. We're gonna go with a pretty hard brush and pretty small. Make sure black is your top box and drag your mouse like that. It's a really subtle effect, but you'll notice it looks like it's in the box. And you can even do that over here as well if you want to make it look like it's sitting in the coins, which is pretty cool as well. I almost forgot to add this, but one cool effect you can do is make sure you click on your hunter text right here that's in the coins. Click new layer, go to your brush, right click on that layer you just made and click clipping mask. Now use your brush tool and follow the contour of the coins like this, and then turn the opacity down a bit so it looks like a shadow of the coins on your text. It makes it look even more 3D. Next up, we're going to add some light spots to the text itself. So click new layer, go to the brush tool, make sure it's pretty soft and pretty small. For the top box, we're going to change it to whatever color your top text is, like a pretty bright yellow, and just drop some dots every once in a while like that. And change the color and do the same for the bottom text. Then you're going to want to change the blend mode over here to color dodge and adjust the opacity to about 40%, just to make it more subtle. Or you can crank it up if you want. Next up, we're gonna add the sun. So click new layer down here, go to your brush tool once again, and change the top box to whatever color the sun is to you. To me, it's kind of like this, like a beige almost. Click okay, make your brush kind of big, and click right here. Change the blend mode to screen, 
and make sure it's above all of your other layers. The next thing I'm going to use is a splash from online. Copy it, paste it by hitting Control V and Control Alt T to scale it down like so. Once it's where you want it to be, click that check mark. So now it's over everything and we don't want that. So add a raster mask down here. Go to your brush tool, make sure your top box is black and just get rid of some of that water splash. Keep some of it because it adds some more depth to it like when water drops are in front of all this. I think it's a pretty awesome effect and you can adjust it however you'd like. You could even get rid of most of this stuff down here and just have splashes around it, whatever you want. Now the water splash is a different color than the other water so we're gonna fix that right now. Make sure you click on your water splash layer, go up to image, adjustments, and hue and saturation. Then you can drag the hue, that's about the right hue, lower the lightness, and now it's pretty much a perfect match. So personally, I think this looks really cool, but I'm going to delete it just because I think it looks a little bit better without it. Maybe I'm just super simple, but if you guys want to go that route, that's completely cool and I think it looks awesome. Now we're going to add a vignette around the picture. So scroll out a little bit with your zoom tool, hold left click, drag to move it out, click the new layer button, go to your brush tool, make it a soft black, and just kind of draw on the outside of the image but leave the top open and turn the opacity down just a little bit, about 17%. It just kind of puts the focus on the treasure chest more. We're getting super close to being done. Next thing we're gonna do is add a curves adjustment layer. So go down here to the half circle and click on curves. Just go up on this line and down on this line just a little bit, kind of like an S. Then go to the adjustment layer again, and this time choose color balance. For red, go with about 45. For green, go with zero. And for blue, go with 45 as well. And you can adjust this if you'd like. Uncheck this preserve luminosity box as well. That's pretty important. Now the last thing we're going to do is add a vibrance adjustment layer. So go down here to this half circle and click on vibrance. We're going to go with 15 vibrance and 50 saturation. Now at this point, I'd recommend turning down your light spots because now it's a little too much. I might add a raster mask and get rid of some of the treasures light spots because i don't think it needs it as much but the hunter it looks good and that's literally all there is to it if you guys made it this far i'm proud of you you guys did great now what we're going to do is export the project so go up to file export as either jpeg or png it's up to you i'm going to go with jpeg if the file's too big lower the quality just a little bit i'm going to leave it at 100 percent and click save so now it is completed. If you guys want more PhotoP logo tutorials like this, check out my previous videos and my playlists. Don't stop there. If you want to take your designs to the next level, check out my channel membership. You'll get access to hundreds of high quality effects in a massive folder, plus exclusive perks like special badges and more. If you don't want to spend money, no worries. Head over to my Gumroad. I've got tons of free graphics packs ready to download. And don't forget to join my Discord. It's the perfect place to chat with other creators, get feedback on your work, and join in on community events. Links are in the description. Check them out and keep creating.